For a very long time prior to me doing nails, I knew I had found the shape for my nails, or so I thought. I liked almond shape, or wait, uh, is it oval? Or was it round? See, that was the problem. I didn't know what the shape was called. All I knew was that they were not square. <laughs> so in today's video, let's learn how to shape gel nails, almond, oval, and round. Hey there, if you're new here, welcome. I am Paola of paolaponsenails.com and I help current and aspiring nail techs become thriving entrepreneurs by mastering all of their gel nail services using soft gel only. If this sounds like a niche you'd like to continue exploring, then at the end of this video, do consider subscribing. Let's start with the almond shape. And for this one, please look at an almond. What do you see? Pointy at the free edge, yes. A little chubby on the body, yes. A little jagged at the edges, yes. But I personally like to leave this trait outside the picture. So where do you start shaping? Let's slow down and instead grab a pair of straight clippers and cut the free edge into a triangle. Yes, a literal triangle. Don't stop until you get there. Now, grab a 180 grit file. If these are natural nails you are working on, then grab an emery board. And if these are gel overlays, you'll need something a bit more sturdy like a board file. Very gently and just a little bit, file the point straight. Next, in one direction, file each side, curving your file into the point. Regardless of whether or not these are natural nail or enhancements, your pressure should be very minimal. Literally let the grit of the file do the work for you. And that is it. I wish I could tell you that making this almond shape is harder, but it literally is not. Next up, let's learn how to shape nails oval. We'll need our straight edge clippers again. I'm using straight edge nippers. These are tool nippers or nail nippers. They are not cuticle nippers. So make sure that you don't use your cuticle nippers for this step because you will dole them out really fast and you can actually bend them and you do not want to do that. Now we will be also somewhat cutting the free edge as a triangle like we did with the almond, but this time much, much less pronounced. In fact, all we are essentially doing is cutting the corners of a square nail. So imagine you have a square nail and you want to take down the corners and you're literally going to cut those corners at an angle from the tip of the free edge up into the smile line of the natural nail, that nail bed. Again, if working on natural nails, grab an emery board. If they are enhancements, grab a board file. The difference is that the board file is more sturdy but can be a bit more aggressive when using around the nail folds. An emery board is thinner, allowing you to get into those nail folds of the nail wall. So you're bringing in the side walls to the center of the free edge. Still keep your eyes on that center of the free edge. And just the difference here is that you are not bringing in the sides to a point like that almond point. This is more like an egg shape oval. Okay. So if you would stand up a egg straight yes there is a rounded part but we're talking about that oval shape at the top okay or the bottom depending which way you're looking at your eggs Thank you. 
this nail shape here is a literal in-between shape of the almond and round shapes and I think it's an easy shape to wear and I'm really starting to kind of gravitate but we'll talk about that in a moment so let's get that final shape in we're talking about the round shape okay so let's now learn how to shape round nails and believe me I think this one is the hardest one out of the three thankfully I want to say that most clients do not ask for round nails or <laughs> they think they are not asking for round nails they may want the oval and the almond so make sure you have examples to help them make up their mind and actually to choose the correct shape they will like for their nails again i find that not many people want a round nail so it is a little harder but do not stress i'm going to show you how to nail it for those very few times that a client does indeed want a true round nail okay because this is where i think the confusion comes um, because at some point we with almond and oval shaped nails we end up rounding up the free edge and so we just think and so does the customer right they don't really know any better we don't expect them to we are the professionals here to educate them and we just kind of um you know give them what we think they want so now you will have a clear path as to what almond oval or round nail shapes look like okay so first things first you will want to start off with a straight free edge otherwise you will end up with a really uneven free edge okay so this is very important and if you're not working with a straight free edge then you will have to make room or time to make it straight first before moving on to the rest of the stuff that we're going to be doing right now okay so now what i want you to do is to tilt your file into a slight angle and in one direction or back and forth if you're working on enhancements it's fine to work back and forth when you're working on natural nails you don't want to because you don't want to split the layers of the nail open okay because that will lead to a lot of issues like chipping you know uh, flaking and all of that you don't want that and then file the nail in if you're doing this right the free edge should be smiling back at you i know that was kind of corny but really if you're doing it right that free edge is starting to smile now if we would just stop there we would end up with a squabble nail and it's pretty but not what we're doing right now let's stay focused the next big important step is to round off the corners this is where things can get uneven but i promise you and if you promise me that you will use mild pressure letting your file do the work for you you'll end up with a soft rounded nail believe me once everything is married together you should have a beautiful round smooth nail without the stress okay stress not included in this tutorial Now I want to know which shape is your favorite. I think that I'm truly an almond and I, you will see me wearing this almond in a lot of my videos. But I am gradually making the switch to oval as I am finding it to be more comfortable in my day to day. So let me know in the comments which is your favorite or which shape did you enjoy learning the most? Which one do you think you were struggling with and you think this video has helped you? Then let me know in the comment section, okay? So before you go, make sure to check out the description box below for any free resources or current promo codes we may have on the brands that we know, like, and trust. But especially my free masterclass to help you master gel nails. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.